All right, so you see this. This is my outlet, my kilowatt plugged into my extension cord, plugged into the, the AC, the outlet right there, all right? So we know that's 120 watts voltage. And we see there's no watts on this kilowatt because there's no load on it yet. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna plug it in to that to get a gauge of how many watts it actually takes. It should be about 96 or so at max because that's what it says here. 0.8 with the amps right there. 0.8 amps times about 120 volts. It should be 96 watts. So I'm gonna put the phone down and we're gonna plug that in real quick and we're gonna see, oh no, what the, so you see I had a pretty significant charge initially there and now it's uh, ranging about 65 or so. Not much, pretty safely at 65, steady as she goes, 65. So it's only really running about 65 watts. But did you see the initial run there is over 300? 60 watts now, look at that. Interesting, 60, 60, 60. Now let's open it up, make sure, I don't feel like in there, but let's just make sure the light's on here. Mm -hmm. 60. Open up. Yep, lights on. You can feel it. It's good. All right. Let's just keep watching here. 60. So the question is, why didn't this run this guy, which is my solar panel, my solar battery, which has a 300 watt battery? Why didn't it? Well, then you see what it said at the beginning. It said over 300. I'm not sure if that's because the compressor kicked on or what. I don't know if the initial juice, but this thing, 300 watt battery could not run this fridge, even though the fridge is only, you can see a steady 63 watts or so, max at 96. I don't know what that's about. That sucks though, because this, I, I'm telling you, I can't run it, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's plug this guy. We're gonna unplug it, hold on a second. And come over here. And we're gonna unplug this. And we're gonna plug it in to, oops, get untied. Hold on a second. We're gonna plug it in to this right here. All right, right there. This is our AC out. See, there's no nothing going on because the, a, the battery isn't turned on yet. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna show you AC out. We're gonna put AC out. All right, let's do this. And AC, AC out. It's looking, looking, looking. 118. Is it gonna run? That's the volts. Is it gonna run? What's the watts? No, went to overload. Ah, isn't that weird, man? It went to overload. For some reason, it jumped up to 300 watts or actually 326. And now look, you still see it's plugged in, but it's not working. I don't know what that's about. Is that the few? I don't know. I don't know, that sucks. Because I was hoping this guy would be able to run this fridge. Now, what that just tells you that if you're gonna use a fridge off, it, this is a dorm room fridge, man. I wasn't hoping that this would be my sole thing off that small little battery. But what it tells you is, even if this only says 96 watts there, which it does, 120 volts, 0.8 amps. You're gonna, you just need a bigger system or a smaller fridge. And uh, that does stink because you know at the end of the day it should be able to run this guy, but it doesn't simply because the system's too big. At least the initial, uh, at some point there's a uh, compressor kicking in. I don't know, but mm, that guy is not running that, which is too bad. But still, man, it's the nice thing about this little solar panel battery. It charged pretty quick. I had it up to, you know, it kept a 60% charge. I haven't used this thing in a year, man. And I had it charged to 100%. I put it in my garage, and it kept 60%. And it only took about two hours to get the rest charged up today. Now, it was a, you know, it was a beautiful day. It's not anymore, but the sun was clear. No wind in the sky. Or no wind, sun, no, hardly any clouds in the sky. But two hours, it charged the rest 40%. So that's uh, that's pretty good, man. And, uh, you know, it kept the charge pretty good, too, at least without a load on it. So I'm actually pretty excited by this guy. So this guy can easily run a cell phone, for sure. Easily run a fan. Um, 
probably not this guy because I think it just takes a little bit more juice initially. That's thing. So anyway, let's go back and we're gonna plug this into the wall. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the, just a second, amigos. Right. Hold on just a second. We're gonna try something here. We're gonna plug this guy into the wall. I just wanna try it again to see how much it takes on the initial, the initial plug it in on the panel here, on the uh, solar battery. All right, there's the, the, the voltage, we put on watts, no watts, because there's no load. And we're gonna take this guy and see if I can't get to work on losing the phone at the same time. Let's see here, I got my pinky on there. Let's see if we can do that. I'm not so sure, hold on a second. Oh boy, let just do it, there we go. Have we got anything? Yeah, yep, there we go, see? And then drops again. I'm not sure what that sudden juice is there, but it has a sudden amount where it just kicks on, where it, 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 uh, it eliminates the ability for this to run it. That's too bad. All right, but now you know, man. So uh, I would get a, I, don't, I haven't looked at these kind of solar batteries for a while. This is a 300 watt. Um, if you're gonna buy one, you might wanna get a 500 watt for sure. Um, that'd be worth it for sure. Anyway, it was a nice little experiment. All right, we'll see. just I'll show you again. Yep, it's open. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely feel that. It feels good. Yeah, that stinks. Still, I like it, though, because I can still run uh, for a fan to keep you cool when the air conditioning goes out. Um, it's, I mean, it won't run a lot of stuff, man. It won't be able to run the ice box, but, you know, my car batteries can. Still, lesson learned. All right, we'll see you.